Hi, good morning guys. So it's 8.25. We will begin. Hi, hi guys. Thank you for being here. Hi, I'm with Chintin, Sunita, Gunjin. It's so nice to see all of you guys get up at 8 and be real on time. So it's uh, 8.25, 8.26. We will uh, wait for everyone to join in and be Chintin, Sunita, be live shortly. Oh my god, Bibu has joined. Woo! That's an achievement. Cool guys, I know it's uh I don't know for some of you who have been following the routine. It's great that you've come and joined me. Thank you very much. And for those who haven't and you'll have taken the effort to get up, uh get refreshed and uh, be a part of uh, the session. Thank you so much. Kudos to all of you and I'm sure you're going to have a good time. Okay, so I think it's 8.30. So, uh, just to introduce myself to some of you who do not uh, know me, I'm Zulena and uh, many of you have uh, witnessed uh, my transformation and have requested that I share my videos with all of you. So, I thought why not share my entire workout and, you know, be a part of uh, this fitness journey together. So, that's how I'm here today. So, thank you for all the encouragement. Uh, now moving to some of the uh, points that I'd like to make regarding my session today. So we are going to do a full body workout with a little more emphasis on lower body today. Okay, so there are going to be three circuits. Each circuit will, will, will have about three exercises which we will do twice. So once uh, for about one minute and we will repeat it for about uh, 30 to 40 seconds. Uh, however, there is one thing I'd like to keep uh, like you to keep in mind is uh, while we're doing the exercise, I will explain the modified form. So people who have who haven't advanced to the pro, you know progressed to the step ahead and you know are probably just uh, beginning or it's your first day today, do the modified form. Don't rush into the advanced form. For example, if you're unable to do a push up, don't worry, don't be discouraged. I will show you a form with, with uh, you know, with days and step by step, we will progress to a push up. So, um, uh, feel free to do the modified form. Honor your body if you're, dis you know, if anything's making you feel any sort of discomfort, switch to the modified form. And, uh, however, do not discontinue or stop the momentum. So, while I stop and explain uh, certain points to be kept in mind regarding the form or explain the modified form, guys, you do not stop your momentum. If it is for one minute, just keep the points in mind, adapt your exercise to whatever I'm saying, but do not stop the momentum for one minute or 40 seconds. That is very important. Okay, guys? And um, yeah, just another point. Uh, since we are live, this is the first time I'm uh, trying this as well. In case we get disconnected or anything of that sort, I will be back, okay? I will be back. Just give me two seconds. Do not leave, okay? And uh, any more comments now that we start our workout, uh, please feel free to, uh, you know, come back onto my IGTV because this video will be loaded on my IGTV. And post your comments, your questions, uh, any inquiry, any videos of yourself showing me the exercise so that I can comment and give you my feedback. Feel free to do it then because once I save this I will lose all your comments and questions. So do it on IGTV once I upload it there. All right, guys. So now grab your towel and your water bottle and we will start. So uh, I think uh, you can switch off your comments now and let's start the exercise. So guys, we will start rotations. Okay, the warm-up session begins. So let's rotate our wrists. I know many of you do your warm-up sessions which last for one or two minutes. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why many of us get sort of injuries or soreness, etc. So let's not just dive into a heavy workout. Let us go gradually into it. So that's why we warm up our wrist. Let's go the other way around. Okay, now let's rotate our legs. Just a half rotation, guys. So from the left to the right and going to the bottom. Up. 
Okay, now what I'd like you to do is uh, spread your legs and put your hands ahead of you and expand your chest. So you go this way. So back, expand and go this way. Okay, so when you go and expand your chest, I'd like you to lift one leg up and try to tap it. So it's a butt kick along with expansion of your chest. Okay, this way. So try to touch your heel to your butt so that you feel the expansion on your uh, quads as well, on your thighs as well. So I'll show you a side view as well. So expand your chest and butt kicks. Expand your chest and butt kicks. Try as far as possible to get your kicks as high as to your butt. Okay? I know many of you probably want some music in the background. Please go free, uh, you know, feel free to start your music now. But make sure you can listen to my voice and the points that I make while exercising, okay? And those who prefer not to have any music, I'm here to pump you up. So don't worry guys. Let's go. Okay, so now take your knees and rotate them. You can go clockwise, clockwise first, then anti clockwise or vice versa. And make sure you keep breathing, okay? Don't hold your breath at all. Let's go the other way around. And breathe. And smile. We're only doing the warm-up right now. When we begin the circuits, I'll let you know. But do not miss the warm-up. Do not take the warm-up lightly. Okay. So now I'd like you to hold your hands forward and twist. Gently. Just a gentle spinal twist. Carry on guys, I'll just start the timer. Okay, so gentle to it. Now let's stretch our hamstrings. Spread your leg wide. Go down and come up. Gently. I'd like you to feel a slight and gentle pull onto your hamstrings. So when you go down, try to swing your hands behind. Okay, so that you feel a gentle uh, uh, stretch here. And keep breathing. So this one's for the hamstrings. And we're again mobilizing our chest, our hips. So like I said, it's going to be a full body workout. But there will be a little more emphasis on our lower body today. Okay. So now let's do the jumping jacks. Okay, this is just to keep your heart pumping, your blood warmer, and getting you ready for the next circuit. Okay? So for the jumping jack, as you all know, this is what it is. For those who haven't progressed to a jumping jack, or it's your first day, or you have, uh, you know, sensitive knees, you can do this. Okay? Like I said, don't stop the momentum as long as you're doing the action. Okay? Feel free to go from the advanced form to a modified form at any point of time. But do not, do not stop the momentum. Let's go guys. For 10. 5. 3, 2 and 1. Now let's go ahead. This is just a warm up guys. Let's get your blood racing. And your heart pumping. Straight. And punch. Punch with force, guys. Like you have a punching bag ahead of you. No gentle punches, but punch and punch. Okay? Let's go. Punch, 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 punch. And let's twist, twist, twist. Again, those who do not want to jump, feel free to go one leg at a time. Those who can, twist. We're just going to end up with the warm up, warm up in another few seconds, minutes. So don't give up. Okay, for now, you can go into spots. Skip. Just skip. I hope your blood warm up, your body temperature rise just a little, and then maybe a drop of sweat as well. Breathe. 
Okay, and our jog. So high knees, guys. High knees. Again, for those who want to progress later, feel free to do this. Your high knees would be this. One leg at a time. For the rest, let's go for another 10 seconds. Faster, guys, faster. Three, two, and one. Okay. So we are done with the warm-up, guys. If you'd like to take a sip of water, go ahead. We start in five seconds. Just make sure you take a sip and no, and no, you know, don't guzzle water down. Okay. So first exercise is going to be a simple squat with a kick. So we are going to keep our legs hip width distance with our toes slightly pointing towards the angle of our knees outwards okay so not this way and not too far apart just this much now when you sit down to go for a squat i'd like you to go down and make sure your knees do not go ahead of your toes okay your chest is upright and your thighs this part of the thighs is parallel to the floor so we go like this and come. For those who do not, you know, who haven't squatted earlier, feel free to just keep a chair behind. Just keep a chair behind, guys, and sit. But while sitting, make sure you go backwards so that your uh, knees do not go ahead of your toes. So don't go sit like this, right? You will go backwards with your butt out first onto your seat. Okay? So what are we going to do? A squat and a kick ahead. A squat and a kick at the side. We will only do our right leg for the right, for the first circuit. Okay, only the right leg, guys. So down, kick. Let's, let's start, guys. Let's start. One minute. Let's start. So this is a great workout for almost the entire body. Why? Of course, a squat is great for our thighs and our glutes, our hips. But because we are kicking. We are also working out our abs, right? We are also working out our obliques. We are focusing on the balance. So it's a great overall body workout. Now, for those who can, I'd like you to add a slight hop. So we go down, hop, squat, kick. Go down, kick, go down, kick. Now let's see if you can add the hop again. And hop. Kick. And hop. We have just five seconds to go, guys. Let's go. Kick. Hop. Kick. Hop. Don't compromise on your form. Please feel free to use a chair if you haven't done this before. Give me one last one. Kick. Hop. Kick to the side. And give me a hop. Great job, guys. Great job. Now for the next one, don't relax. Don't take any water. For the next one, we've been working out our right leg. So we will keep our right leg ahead. Okay? So I want the stance. I will show you both the angles. Okay? Keep this stance. Yeah. So make sure once again, your knees are not ahead of your toes. Alright? And your right leg is always bent. This way. Your knee is not ahead of your toes. Your knee is not kinking inwards. So it should move this way. Push it consciously outwards while you do the exercise. Okay, so let's go. I want you to keep it this way and just keep that for one minute. Come on guys, the time has started. Okay, now this is again a great burner. I promise you, you're gonna feel the burn as soon as you start doing it. Do it for 10 seconds you feel like screaming okay so this is something you can do anywhere you can do it when you're in line or in queue at the quarantine outside the shop you know if you don't mind you can do it anywhere and you'll feel your thighs burn feel it burn don't don't get up at any point of time no getting up always put that pressure onto your right thigh and let's go just 10 more seconds guys 10 more seconds Make sure your knees are not ahead of your toes. And go for three, two, and one.
Good job, guys. You can wipe your sweat if you like. And let's go for the next one. Again, okay. this one, I like you to use your mat. Go on your hands. Stretch your legs out. So this is called mountain climbers. Once again, if you've done this before, just keep certain points in mind while you're doing it. And you can start. For those who haven't started it before, I'd like you to keep all the points in mind. I will also, also show you a modified version. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. Hands ahead of you. Your shoulders, elbows and wrists in one line. So it shouldn't be this way or this way. You put your legs behind. Okay, so you're on a full plank. And then I just want you to run. Run this way. For those for the, uh, who would like to do a modified version, go on the tabletop. So when you're on the tabletop, I want your back to be neutral. Right? So no rounding, no arching. Just neutral. And you can take one leg at a time. Up and down. Up and down. Okay? Just this. For the rest, let's start guys. 45 seconds on the clock. Full plan and run. Keep running. Don't think of the exhaustion. Keep breathing. Make sure your shoulders, elbows are in the same line guys. Your back neutral. Your neck neutral. Otherwise that will cause a strain. Whoever wants to go to the modified, once again. This is what you'll do. Modified version. Those who are doing the full plan and can't go further, do the modified version. But don't stop. Okay? Feel free to always switch and switch back. But do not stop the momentum. Foot. Seven. Five. Three. Two. And one, guys. Great. So we are done with the first part of the first circuit. We will take a 30 second break. You can sip some water. Just sips, okay? Sip some water. Wipe yourself and be ready to do this all over again. So, we've done the right side now. Now when we repeat it, we'll do the left, okay? Till then, let me see if there's any. Hi, Divya. Hi, guys. Ruchi, Monica, Pallavi. Thank you all for joining. Oh, Chandan, Guru. Thanks for joining. Okay. I think 30 seconds are up. We will repeat it now. Okay. So remember, we worked on our right side. We will now work on the left. The guys who want a table or a chair behind you for support, for the squat, feel free. Just make sure you're going backwards. Okay? Backwards. And not sitting like this. And not sitting down. Guys, you have to keep getting up or don't even touch the chair. Just go for the, to get the right angle and get that additional support. But don't sit down. Okay, let's start guys. 35, 40 seconds. On the clock. Come on. Squat. Squat. Now let's go for the kicks. Kick. Squat. Kick. Squat. Kick. Those who can have the jump, feel free. Squat. Jump. Squat. Kick. Squat. Kick. Jump again guys. Jump, squat, kick, squat, kick. I like to do exercises which have a lot of body parts involved, a lot of muscles involved, so that we work out and burn more. Yeah? So let's do the jump. No need to keep track of how many jumps you make. Just go for it every time you can. Okay? Jump. As long as you're doing the lateral kick and the front kicks, I'm very, very happy and proud of you. Let's go. Just another 20 seconds, guys. Another 20 seconds, which means just another 10 rounds. You can do it. Let's go. You are going to feel energized. You've given this day 40 seconds, 40 minutes of your time. What a great job. It's going to last for at least 24 hours till you're ready for my next workout. So front kick. Side kick, and this is the last jump. So let me see you jump high and high. 
Great job. Now for the lunge. No stopping, no drinking water. Lunge, left leg ahead. Okay? Keep the pressure on. Your left, do not go back on top. Keep it on and let's tap. Tap, tap. Guys, make sure, make sure your knees at any point of time don't go ahead of your toes and they don't kink this way. Once we get exhausted, there is a tendency to do this unknowingly. So just keep that in mind and that is why I'm also repeating it over and over again. Keep that in mind and do not rise up. Keep the pressure on and go. It doesn't matter where your hands are. If you're comfortable with your hands wide apart, do that. Whatever gives you the balance. Okay? But feel the burn. Enjoy the burn. And go. For 10, 9, 8, 7. Bend further, guys. Bend further. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, next. Mountain. You remember the modified one? Tabletop. One leg at a time. And one leg at a time. Just make sure you don't sway your body. Your body remains still. No swaying, okay? For those who want to start off with a full plank with me, let's go for 40 seconds. Up, back neutral, and run. Do not compromise on your form, guys. Any point of time, you are tired, or you're losing your form, switch to the modified. Keep breathing. Keep breathing, guys, keep breathing. Keep your fingers apart. And we have just 10 seconds. So let's go as fast as possible. Three, two, and one. Great job, guys. We are done with the first circuit. I'd like to give you a one minute break. Sip, breathe, and get ready for the next workout. And guys, don't forget to please share your feedback once I download this on IGTV because I will miss many of your comments, you know, while working out. And I do not want to miss any of your comments or feedback or questions. So please help me by putting your feedback, your comments, your questions on my IGTV. Okay? And I will get back to you, I promise, in 24 hours, if not possible, earlier, okay? So, I hope you, you guys are sipping on some water and taking a deep breath, getting yourself ready for the next circuit. Okay, we have another 10 seconds. Get set, go. Okay, so for the next one, we will do another variation of a Caesar squat. So for those who are comfortable with only a squat or who are learning to do a squat, I will show you that form first. So you are going to squat either with a table or chair behind you or with no support at all, just bearing all the points I have mentioned about the squat. So squat and twist your leg behind. Okay, squat and twist. So we will only do only do the right side at the moment. So we are going with our right leg behind. Okay? So squat and twist. For the rest, I want you to jump and scissor your legs. So squat this way. Okay? This way. So we'll only keep our right leg ahead and the guys who are doing the modified, keep your right leg behind. Okay? Or whichever you start with. If you start with your left, no problem. When you are repeating it, just remember which leg you were doing and make sure you don't go the same leg again and the next. Yeah? So let's start for 45 seconds. Squat, scissor, squat, scissor, squat, scissor. Okay? I hope all of you are ensuring you keep all your points in mind while doing the squat. Whichever leg is behind, no problem. Just keep in mind and make sure you do the other leg when we repeat the sequence. Make sure your chest is always upright. We do not want to bow.
bow for them. We don't bow for anyone, right? Not for anyone. So let's do it. No getting our chest down, back neutral, and upright. Okay? And keep all the points in mind. We just have another seven seconds to go. Two and one. Great job. Now, for the next one. Remember, we work out on the right leg first. So, we do the lunge once again with a variation. So, when you're doing the lunge, guys, first keep in mind the regular form. Your knees do not go ahead of your toes. They do not kink inward. Keep them consciously facing outwards. Okay? And you're doing the lunge by going down and up. Your hands can be anywhere. It doesn't matter. But for the variation, once you do the lunge, I'd like you to take your hands, put them under your legs, under your thighs, and go up. So just think of yourself like an angel, yeah? Or if you're a guy, think of yourself like Cupid, okay? And let's go for one, okay? Do this slowly. I'm going to add a bit of a variation in a bit. First, get, let's get this form right. Okay, all of us know lunges are great for your thighs okay your quads get stronger so let's give this your best shot yeah so lunge and angel wings since we are also moving our shoulders and our hands up and down we are also working on our upper body now for those who have got this form right i'd like you to add on this little bit so when you go up right let's jump let's jump you can do it twice and jump again. Jump again. Okay? For the rest, you can always go up and down. But if you can add the jump, or even it's a little bit of a hop, you just have 10 more seconds, guys. I know you can do it. Let's go. Hop. Hop. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay. Now for the last one. Before we start repeating the circuit, I want you to dribble. So just move your body. Simple, right? Just tap your feet and let your entire body let loose. Like there's no tomorrow, like no one's watching. But your feet should go fast. As fast as possible for just 30 seconds. Let's go. Move it faster, guys. Faster. I know you can go faster. Come on, let's do it. Faster. And your upper body. Just lose. Just go faster. You have 10 more seconds, guys. Just 10 more seconds. Let's go even faster. Come on. Go, 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 go. For three, two, two and one. Wow. I had fun. I hope you're enjoying it. No pain, no gain, guys. Remember, but make sure discomfort you modify. Okay? So 30 second break and then we go for repeat. Let me have a look. Who well, have joined me today? I am on my live video. Uh, I hope you can see me. Send a request, okay? Great, guys. I hope you're having fun. Okay? Let's sip on some water. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, baby T. Okay. So, 30 seconds up. A little more than that. Let's repeat. Yeah. Guys, I can't make you... Join me on the same screen. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we are going to go for the Caesar spot. Now for the left leg. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we go down and squat and go back. All right. And for the ones who are doing the modified version and one leg, whichever leg you've done before, guys, just swap. Okay, just remember the form. We start. Let me see the timer. 
Okay, we start right about now. Squat and scissor. Come on, guys. Let's go. Make sure you're doing the other leg now. Yeah? So if your right leg was in the front, go with the right. And I mean, if you got to the right earlier, go with the left in the front. Okay, just keep in form. Keep in mind your form. Don't ever slouch. Don't ever go forward. Okay? Always switch to the modified. If you're feeling, feeling you cannot keep up to the rest of the time left. But do not compromise on your form. Form is the most important. Okay? Let's go, guys. Scissors and squat. Go with your music if you have some music on. Go with me if you don't. Okay? Knees behind your toes, guys. Not ahead. And three, two, and one. Great. Now for the beluga squat. I mean, lunge. Left leg is in front. You've done your right ahead earlier. Okay. So you behind your toes, your left leg fully flat. Your foot completely flat. Okay. So I go down. First, let me get the lunge right. So down and up. Make sure your knees are not kinking and they're not going ahead. Time starts now. Okay. Now let's lie. Our hands, our arms. Let's be angels. Let's be humans. And go. For those who can add the hop, let's go for that. Up. So some of us might have found it easier to do it on the right and a little more tough on the left. That's completely normal. We all have asymmetries in our body. One side is stronger, the other side is more flexible. So don't worry. Okay? That's normal. Let's go. Hop. 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 We have just one more. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay? Let's do the three last ones with a hop. Hop, hop, and a high one, guys. A high one. Hop. Great job. Okay. The last one of the second set. Let's do it. Move your legs faster. Tap your feet as fast as possible, guys. As fast as possible. Scream if you have to. But let's go faster. Come on, guys. Another 15 seconds. Just 15 seconds. Let's go fast. I want to yawn. Your feet tapping. Okay, I will feel the speed. Come on, guys, faster, faster, faster. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. Wow. I can feel the body burn, and I hope yours is too. Yeah. Okay, so one minute break. We're done with the second circuit. Now, the last circuit. We will do only once. Okay, so take a minute break. I'd be happy to see your comments. You can also post questions in the question box because I think that will remain with me later as well after I end the live video. So I can always come back to you with the replies. Yeah, so feel free to post questions. And feel free to give me your feedback or any sort of clarifications that you may need. Post this when I upload it on my IGTV. I know many of you have just joined Instagram for me. So I'm really thankful that you've come to be a part of this. My little baby boy was just snooping to see what I'm doing. There he is, a little head tiny head that you can see behind the pillow. Okay. Great. Yeah, I will say you said hi. Okay, so what time to come online? Guys, it's at 8.30. Starts at 8.30 sharp, okay? We will, I will come online five minutes earlier to just get everything, you know, sorted. Yes, G. Nadishka, thank you. All the way from Canada. Thank you. Yes, I will save this on my IGTV. So you can have a look later. What you have before the exercise. Okay, so I honestly, I've been used to uh, a fasted workout. 
but i would not suggest for those who have just got into the uh, you know uh, fitness routine so you can have a date you can have anything that gives you you know uh, energy any sort of uh, carb that would give you energy but that's something you'll have to try because i'm not a nutrition and there are certain things regarding my diet which i'm used to because i've been doing it for the last 3 4 years like working out you know just on a black coffee so uh, yeah that's what i had have to say yeah a lot of questions on diet guys i'm not a nutrition nutritionist but anything regarding fitness physical fitness working on the floor i can tell you yeah so let's go okay guys the third circuit so for the third circuit like i said we will do this only once we need your mat for this i will show you a frontal view as well as a view from the side so that you can keep all the points in mind but guys remember not to drop your leg down not to do anything off the momentum till we finish our time so i know at some point of time you just feel like dropping your body or your leg or your foot down don't don't do that i know you can do it okay i know you can do it so please let's do it together stay with me guys okay so what i want you to do first is go on a table top position so your hands could be with your fingers spread wide apart yes your shoulders elbows and wrists all in one line your knees will be hip width distance okay i'm going one point at a time for people who have uh, you know been doing this exercise for the first time your back neutral so no crouching no slouching like this no arching too much just neutral that means straight your neck neutral again so keep a point ahead of you and you can stay with that so your neck doesn't go up at any point of time it doesn't drop down at any point of time okay so once you're like this i like to keep so let's start with the right leg the right leg at a 90 degrees bend yeah you can see this 90 degrees keep it in the same angle let's raise it and bring it down do not rest it down guys do not rest it down just bring it up slowly and bring it down let's start for 40 seconds so i'm bringing it up another point to remember is let's tighten your hips your glutes and go up so instead of just doing loose or just trying to kick it should be tighten go up slowly and bring it down tighten tighten your hips guys go up slowly and bring it down okay so this is great for your thighs your inner thighs as well as your glutes the more you tighten the more impact will be there just make sure your back is always neutral and you go slow we don't want to try and just finish it this way that means you're not tightening and going up contract your muscle and go up okay another 15 seconds guys contract and go up contract and go up let's not stop the motion and let's keep our form in mind and remember you will feel the tightness soon so for three two now when i say one guys don't put your leg down okay keep it up one keep it up right now push it out straight okay and bring it right behind you so for those who can not see so your leg is like this okay come down and bring it up straight okay i hope you can see me guys or i'll show you on side and like this i think this is better so i want you to go up here without resting your knee at all on the mat even when i did it i hope you have it guys so once you've taken this position lift your leg up high okay lift it as high as possible come on guys go for it as high as possible you got that okay now if your right leg is up i want your left leg left hand down have you got that so right now your right leg is as high as possible straight and your left hand is down resting on your elbow now that you've got that i want you to give me 30 seconds of pulses so you're up go even higher and pulse i don't want this guys not this no 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 not that just pulse higher and small tiny pulses that raise your leg even higher that raise your foot even higher the time starts now 30 seconds on the clock contract your butt contract your glutes guys and raise it higher just small pulses small pulses and keep your hips square so don't 
and turn it to one side. Okay, keep your hips square and let's get small pulses. Another 10 seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome, guys, awesome. Now let's go for the left leg. Okay, I will just change my angle a bit. Okay, I hope you can see, see the form, right? Okay. Okay, guys, remember, no stopping, no keeping your foot down till we finish the whole thing. From the side to pushing our legs straight behind and up and down. Do not put that foot down, guys. Do not put that foot down. You're only doing it for one minute. Okay? And that's the last part of exercise. That's the last part of exercise, guys. I know you can do it. So let's go. Keep it up. Right angle. Okay? Back neutral. Hands, fingers apart. Shoulders above your wrists. And let's go. 30 seconds. Hip square. So don't go to the side, guys. I don't want this. Okay? I'm doing that when I'm talking to you in the camera. But don't do this. Hip square like this. And go. Contract your butt and lift them. Slowly, guys. Slowly. There's no race for this one. It's not speed for this one. It's just doing the form right. Feeling the contraction. Contracting as much as possible. Tightening it. And going up. Okay, we just do another 20 seconds. Okay, I hope you can see me. Yeah, breathe guys, breathe. I know, this is the last set. It must be harder and harder. But this is the last one and the final one. Then we go down to our cool down stretches. So let's go for 10, 9, Okay, five more to go, guys. Five more. And three. And two. And one. Now push it behind. I hope you haven't put your leg down, guys. Don't put your leg down. Stretch it right behind and straight. Hips are square. Leg is right behind. If your left leg is on top, right elbow comes down. Yeah? So right leg up, then your left elbow is down. But if your left leg is up, your right elbow is down. Now raise, raise it high as high as possible. Yeah, you got that. Now let's pulse. Small pulses, no kicking, contract. I want you to pulse with your hip, not with your foot. We're not working on your foot, you guys. We're working on the hip. So not doing this, this, this. Okay, just 30 seconds, but let's do it perfectly. Okay, up and pulse. Pulse with your hip. Feel your glutes. Feel those burn. The burning sensation and enjoy it. Okay? Contract. Pinch. Feel it on your glutes. And go for another 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds. Don't give up. Don't put that foot down, guys. Don't put that foot down. You can go for another 10 seconds. Another 5 seconds. In fact, left now. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yeah. Awesome, guys. So, yes, we are done. But do not skip the cool down and the stretches, okay? Let's get our mats. Try to get the right angle. Okay, so I think I'm fully visible now. Sip some water, guys. And we're going down, going to go into our stretches and a cool down. I know many of you have to rush to work, but please do not miss the cool down session. The reason why we have soreness, the reason why many of us get injuries or some pain, need ice packs and hot bags, you know, after three, four days, is because we do not focus on a cool down. In fact, I remember when I used to go to the gym and the gyms were open, people would do their cool down like this. And leave. Or while in fact, while walking out of the gym. That's not a cool down, guys. Okay, it's just like getting something ticked off your checklist. And that's not what we're doing. Okay, it's just, just 40 seconds, guys. Just 40 seconds, uh, sorry, just 40 minutes of your entire day. Just 40 minutes. To feel re-energized, to get, start, get started for a really good day, positive. It's worth it, right? 
So let's not miss any of it. I ask for 40 minutes, give me 40 minutes and complete the entire workout. Okay, so sip some water and let's start with a cool down. So, when I do my cool down and stretches, I prefer removing my shoes. If you would like to do that, go ahead. If you want to keep the shoes on, up to you, no worries. Okay, so first let's just take some deep breaths and get ready for a cool down. So I'd like you to close your eyes, keep your legs as you know, you're comfortable with, crossed, one side, whatever, that's up to you. And let's take two or three deep breaths. So let's inhale. While inhaling, let's make our back completely straight. Yeah, like something's pulling us up from your, from the crown of our head and keeping our spine, our back, our neck, our entire vertebra straight and stacked. Try to have your breaths when you exhale longer than when you inhale. So if you're inhaling for four seconds, let's exhale for six. Just one more time, guys. Okay, great. So now, I'd like you to take your left leg and keep it at a 90 degrees again. So right in front of you, right? Right in front of you, your left leg goes like a 90 degree angle. So basically like a seven or an eight. Okay, once you have this right, I want you to take your other leg, which is my right, take my knee and place it next to my left heel. Okay, so if your left leg is like this, your right leg will again be at 90 degrees, but with the knee touching your left ankle. I will show you a side view. So your left leg is like this, straight in front of you at 90 degrees. Take your other leg, take this knee and place it next to your left ankle. Again, at 90 degrees. Okay, keeping your back straight. I hope you've got it, guys. Okay. So once you have done that, take your left hand, okay, the leg which is outside, the same side, the left hand out at the side, and I'd like you to stretch like this. If you can bend this elbow and stretch further and take the stretch further down, please feel free to do so. But just make sure you're not going downwards, not ahead guys, to the side, stretching your chest outwards like a rainbow. Yeah, just like a rainbow, stretch and tilt your head up. Now let's stay here for 15 seconds at least. Breathe in and breathe out. Every stretch needs to be held at least for 15 seconds, guys. Otherwise, honestly, there's no point in doing a stretch. Okay, once you've done this, let's get up. Now hold your right leg. Okay, so if your left leg is ahead of you, I want you to hold your right ankle. That is the foot, that is the hand. Hold it and try to go towards that angle. Try to pull your body towards that angle. So pull it further, like as if you want your forehead to go and touch the angle. Of course, it's not going to happen. It's just that angle that I'm trying to explain. And keep breathing. Deep breaths, guys. Deep breaths. And try to not push yourself into something extra or too much for you today. Remember, it's your first day, okay? So, and this is not a flexibility session. It's just to give yourself a stretch, relax, and cool down. So let's go with what you're comfortable with. Honor your body, guys. Honor your body. Now that we're done with this, I want you to stretch the leg behind, stretch it out, okay? Just stretch straight out and take yourself onto the other side of your bent leg. So if your left leg is bent, go towards your bent leg and keep your right leg outside, okay? Stretch outside. Now there should be two opposing moments here. 
someone's pulling you from the front with your hands and someone's pulling you from behind with your foot that is the stretch that you need to feel so consciously try to move further with your hands and try to consciously pull yourself behind with your legs okay so let's go down and let's do the opposing movement so someone's pulling you with your foot behind guys and try to move forward with your hands inch forward okay inch forward like this inch forward with your hands and keep breathing keep breathing guys Okay. Once you're up, stay again on the same left knee. Put this hand a little behind you, and for those who can, I'd like you to push yourself up and fall back. If you're comfortable doing it seated, no problem. Do that. Honor your body, and let's go for this. But who can, please be free to go onto your knee. and stretch it behind and free okay guys let's do it for the other side so now your right leg is ahead of you at a 90 degree angle okay put your left knee touching your right ankle and both of them maintaining the 90 degrees yeah so i will show you this side profile as well so 90 degrees take your other knee place it here at 90 degrees okay and back straight so once you've got that let's take a right hand place it towards the right side of the right side of the mat and stretch like a rainbow go down if possible and let's stretch and please put your chest out chest out guys and look upwards and some deep breaths here guys okay let's go back let's hold a left ankle okay so i want you to hold this ankle with both your hands and try to move towards that ankle do all the stretches slowly guys and try to sink in the position melt into it don't try to aggressively force yourself to do something okay this is a stretch or pull down something meant for relaxation so let's sink into it breathe and sink Okay, let's go up. Now let's place both our hands on this side. Remember the opposing pull, pulling movement. So someone's pulling your hands ahead of you, and someone's pulling your feet behind you. I'll give you another angle, so in case some of you haven't got it, you can see both sides. Okay. See, I want you to stretch this leg behind, and try to feel someone pulling you behind, and you push yourself forward. and feel as if someone is pulling you in front into the corner you walk with your hands again deep breaths guys deep deep breath great now for those who can yeah i want you to go and bend behind and who can go on your knees go up and let your body just fall behind and relax and breathe
Okay, guys. Now for the final stretch, let's put our foot ahead of us. Okay, flex our toes. So our toes pointed towards our body. And let's fall down. Let's feel the entire stretch on our hamstrings. So don't worry where you're at. For some of you, you may be this way. For some of you, your knees might still be up. Just be glad you joined today and you start taking those baby steps to progress further. Okay, that's a great achievement. So be proud of whatever and wherever you are today. Okay, so for those who can, let's go down. For those who want to put a pillow under your knee, feel free to do so. For the other leg. And let's go. Just remember to keep your uh, foot flexed, okay? Okay. Now cross your legs and just go forward and relax and drop your body. Take one deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to your heart, guys. Close your eyes. And think of one thing that you feel thankful for today. One thing that you can keep in mind as a positive thought for the rest of your day. On that note, open up your eyes. Give yourselves a high five. Kudos to all of you for having a great session with me today. And I'm so happy that all of you have joined me. Have a lovely day, guys. And please do drop in your feedback on my IGTV so I can go through it later as well. Because once I press the end button, as you know, I would not be able to see your comments, your questions, etc. So please do go on my IGTV. It's going to be uploaded anytime soon now. And Share any feedback that you have. And please do maintain a report of whatever you have been doing and wherever you are today. So we can keep a record of your progress you're making. So if you've been able to do half a squat or, you know, been able to do 10 squats, you know, the next time we do a session, we will know where you're at. Yeah. So, yes, I will be saving the video. Uh, please share your feedback, your videos during the workout and any sort of thought that you would like to share with me. Thank you, guys. I'll be signing out now. See you tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. on the clock.